Hey guys, Logan here. These are my money tips for anybody 18 to 20. Number one on this list is budgeting. Budgeting is super important. The way I budget is I've been making all my purchases strictly with my debit card for the past three months. But the reason that I use my debit card is because I use the online banking app that I have through my bank and that allows me to track every single little pending deposit, every deposit I've made from you know, work checks to any Venmo that I get, you know, it tracks what's coming in and then you can also track your expenses for what's going out when you use your debit card. But Logan, but Logan, Logan why is why budgeting, is budgeting so, important? so important? Um, budgeting is really important because it gives you a spending plan for your money. It allows you to balance your income with your expenses and many people don't realize that every month they could be spending more than they're making but if they budget, then they can track exactly where each purchase is going, what costs what, how much they're making. That's perfect for anybody trying to achieve a long-term savings goal. Number two on this list would be investing. Investing is super important because let's say you have a checking account and you're earning absolutely no interest on it. Most checking accounts don't earn any interest. Some do. It just depends on what kind of checking account you have, but it's usually very low. And when you're not earning any interest in your checking account, your money's not really growing by itself, how do you expect to stay above inflation rates, which are generally 2%? So if your money's not in an account that's making at least 2% a year, you're falling behind to inflation. That's why I'm really big and up on investing. It's just something that's super important. The stock market generally returns your money 5 to 10% each year. Many mutual funds range 3 to 5% and you can also put your money into some sort of retirement account off the bat if you wanted to just because of the tax benefits that you get on IRAs and 401ks. The number three on this list for me is consume financial content. It's so important whether you're going to read a book about it, you're going to listen to an audio book about it, or you're going to watch a movie, you're going to watch a YouTuber talk about it like I'm doing right now. But it's just so important when you're Trying to learn as much as you can, you can listen to people like Dave Ramsey talk about it and he has a different view than someone like Robert Kiyosaki does or Tim Ferriss from the 4 Hour Work Week. There's just so many good books to read, movies to watch, audiobooks to listen to, you can listen to them while you're in the car, you know, you have free time on the weekend, just open up a book. It's so great to just sit and learn that way. Number four, understand basic living expenses. This is super important. Transportation, rent, utilities, these all add up and they add up quicker than you may think. Now that you're 18, 19, and 20, you don't have the support from your family like you once did your whole entire life. So now it's really up to you to budget these, track these expenses, and just really make yourself an, a better all-around person in this area. And this is the final tip. This one's completely optional because this depends on if you went to school or not. Try to avoid taking out student loans if you can. Student loan debt is around $1.5 trillion right now in America. Roughly one in every six adults has carried student loan debt into their adulthood. It's super dangerous because you cannot file bankruptcy and that's the only loan you cannot file bankruptcy on. So you're almost stuck paying it your whole life. And to qualify for student loan forgiveness, it takes 10 years or 120 months of payments for you to even qualify for it. So at least for 10 more years, you're still paying on your student loan debt. So that's everything for the video. I hope you enjoyed. I hope those tips help you. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more in the future. See you guys.